Um, right, well, I'm here uh, celebrating the launch of November Sunday. Uh, tell us about, introduce both yourselves. Let's, let's start with this young lady here. I'm Caroline Paxton. I'm the chair of trustees of the Military Wives Choirs. Fantastic. And I'm Hilary Dave and and I'm the artistic director of the choirs. Each individual choir has its own music director, but I have a kind of overall brief to, to keep things going, and I do these big projects like this wonderful project we have Fantastic. today. And it is indeed a wonderful project. It's a glorious way of celebrating the King's birthday. Uh, I was talking to the lyricist about uh, the background to this. How did it start with you two? Um, I'm a veteran, and um, I joined the board uh, in... 2022 and became chair of trustees last year so I'd been away from the military for quite some time and this brought me back almost home because not only am I a veteran I'm also an army grandchild on right. both sides uh, and I was married to a veteran as well. And, and it's glorious because I understand there's a number of these choirs around the world, the military choirs. Have about 70 altogether, is that yes. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People often think we're one choir, but we are 70, both across the UK and Northern Ireland and overseas. Uh, and the idea is that we are a safe space, a familiar place in unfamiliar surroundings. So when our network members move from place to place, they are immediately somewhere where they can find kindred spirits um, a familiar repertoire so they can start singing straight away and we all know the well-being benefits of singing so they start to build those relationships and practical advice actually where's the nearest plumber what's the best preschool <laughs> you know who can give me a lift to the garage because my partner's away deployed Th those sort of practical things well it's what singing does and singing brings people together it's an enormous you know it's a wonderful thing to sing physically but it's also terrific for the the well-being altogether and, you know, over 2,000 people sing, uh, the core repertoire is the same all over the world. So if you sing this November Sunday here in the God's Chapel and you move to Cyprus, you'll find yourself singing it there too. It's enormously reassuring if you're feeling a bit disconcerted. And I think these women are astonishing because they, they're non-auditioned. The whole point is absolutely open access. So you'd think it'd be rather medium quality, but actually they sing exceptionally well because they're so committed to it and they really want to do it. Yeah, no, and fantastic. Then, and some real characters oh, is yes. what we've met about oh, that sort of thing. plenty of characters, yes. 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 That's yeah, glorious. There, well, it is Her Ma His Majesty's uh, birthday today. Um, would you like to give uh, a message from each of you? Yes, uh, I would like to say very happy birthday, sir, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'd like to say, I hope he's a very musical king, and I hope that the music lifts him up on this important day. Thank you very much to both of you.